Recently, I've got a question from a member from my community and that question was related to the wall moldings in Revit. Actually, it was how to calculate the total length of the wall moldings in Revit. And she sent me this file. So what she's been doing was she told me that she was successfully placing wall moldings into her model. But as I said, she couldn't make the total length. So she was counting that manually one by one. And she asked me, is there any way to automate this in Revit? So there is. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do that. But just before I move to the topic, I would like to invite you to join our free community of architects and interior designers. We have already 6K members there and we have a free Revit training, free community, and we also have a free live events from time to time. And by the way, the most important thing is going to be the free Revit workshop, which we are going to host from March 17th to 28th. We are having the limited spots for that one. So just hurry up, sign up to our platform and reserve your spot. In front of me is Revit project file. So I have just one wall and then I have a couple of moldings placed on that wall. So as you can see, there's the same family, but what's different are their width and height. And if you may wonder how I made this family, just take a look at the card above. I made a video about it a while ago and it's going to be perfectly clear to you. So I'm in a project file again. And as I said, like we have them with the different dimensions. So I will go to the schedules, right click. I will create the new schedule quantities. And because this is generic family, I will create it for generic models. But here we have this uh, slash height slash width parameters. We have count. Uh, I will first start with the family type and let's go with the count. So let's click OK. And as you can see, we have this type this many times and this is the count, but we cannot see any dimensions. So what we need to do about this is to go to our family. So go back there and then as you can see, I have the width and the height. So let's go here to the parameters. When I go to the width, you will see that this is family parameter and the same thing is with the height. And if you would like to schedule family parameters, actually parameters from family, we need to load the shared parameters here. So I will go here to the new parameter, we'll go to the shared parameters, and then let's go here to the length. So I will pick architecture width, let's make it as instance. And then I will also pick and I'm gonna add one more shared parameter which is called architecture height. Make it as instance as well. So we have height and width. Let's click OK. And then I'm going to replace this width with our shared parameter architecture width and then this height with our uh, architecture height parameter. And I would like to add one more parameter while I'm in a family. So I will just go back here. And in this case, I can create or I can actually take, let's see, a uh, length uh, will be maybe more proper to have something which is called total length, but I can take this length here and let's make it as instance as well. It doesn't matter. So this length, I can just pop up at the top. I will add formula for this length. So uh, this is going to be, I'm going to add the perimeter of our rectangle. So it's two times architecture width plus two times architecture height. So let's click apply and then you see that we got the value and that's the perim per perimeter of our rectangle. So hit OK, load this into the project, override existing uh, volume parameter. So it doesn't matter, I can just make the height here one and a half, 900, the same here. And then I'm going to make those to 1.2, 1.2 as it was. So when I go to our schedule, uh, when I go to the fields, now I'm able to add architecture height, length and width. Let's put the length at the bottom and let's go for a count. So I can then go to the sorting and grouping and then 
I will first, let's say, go by height or by width. Then I will go by height and uh, let's click and ground total. So let's click OK now. And as you can see, we have four counts of this type one in this dimension, then three of this one, two of this one. And if I just, for example, go and let's say copy this one more time and then let's make one more like this. So I don't know what is the width. You see that I was doing it manually in a draw on a drawing. When I go back to the schedule, you see that it's going to be updated, but we cannot see the total length still. So let's just go to formatting, click on the total length, and then I will just go here, calculate totals. So you can see that we have the full length of all our moldings in our Revit file. And in this tutorial, I was using shared parameters and if you would like to know more about them and to master them, I recently made a tutorial about it. So just go to Architeasy page, watch master shared parameters and this tutorial is going to be perfectly clear to you.